Welcome to this lesson on geometric sequences. A sequence is a list of numbers in a particular order. So two, four, six, eight. I'm adding two each time. One, three, nine, 27. I'm multiplying each time. So there's going to be some type of pattern. A geometric sequence is a sequence created by multiplying the previous term by a constant. So 2, 6, 18, 54. I'm multiplying by 3 each time. Same thing right here. I'm multiplying by 3 each time. It doesn't have to be 3. You can be multiplying by any number. However, in this first example, I'm adding 2 each time. So that one would not be geometric. That's actually an arithmetic sequence where you add to get to the next number. Your common ratio in the letter R is used to represent that. Is the number that a term is multiplied by to get to the next term in a sequence. So 3, 15, 75, I'm multiplying by 5 each time. So my R is 5. All right, so there's two different ways to find terms in a geometric sequence. The first one is called a recursive rule. So consider the following geometric sequence, 2, 10, 50. Let's find the fifth term. So first of all, we have to figure out what are we multiplying by? What's our R? So 2 times 5 gives me 10. 10 times 5 gives me 50. So this is our first rule, our second rule, our third term. So let's make a little chart over here. So first term, second term, third fourth and we want the fifth so we know 2 10 50 so we need to multiply by 5 that would be 250 and then multiply by 5 again that's 1250 so finding a term this way is called the recursive rule basically you just keep multiplying until you get to the term you want and that's fine for finding smaller terms like the fifth term in a sequence but you would not want to use that to find like the 100th term because it's going to take you forever. Okay, so we can summarize this rule using this formula. So a to the n, that's the term we want. r is our ratio. And then a to the n minus 1, that means the previous term. So basically, if we want the fifth term, we would use the fourth term here. And this only works when n is greater than or equal to 2. So it's not going to work for the first term. Okay, so use this rule to find, to, for the sequence, to write a rule for the sequence. And then we're going to find the sixth term. So the rule would be a to the n equals, our ratio is 5, times a to the n minus 1. So if we want to find the sixth term, a to the sixth, we're going to multiply 5 times the fifth term. So here's our fifth term, 1250 times 5. That's going to give us 6,250. Okay, so what if we wanted to find the 100th term? We don't want to use recursive because that's going to take forever. So there's a faster way to find larger terms called the explicit rule. And the formula is a to the n, that's the term we want, times a to the first, that's the first term in the sequence. r is our ratio, and then n is the term number we want. So like 100. So let's use that to write an explicit rule for this sequence. So if we want to find a to the 100th power, we want to take the first term, which was 2, times our r, which was 5, 
and then to the n minus 1 power, so 100 minus 1 power. So that's going to be 2 times 5 to the 99th power. And I'm going to use my calculator for that. 2 times 5. Remember, you can use the caret key to make an exponent in your calculator to the 99th power. Now, yes, it's going to be a huge number because if we keep multiplying by 5 each time, it's going to grow very fast. It's going to grow exponentially, in fact, which we're going to talk about soon. So this is 3 to the 1, 5. Sorry, 3.15 times 10 to the 69th power. And it's such a large number, we're going to keep it like that. All right, you can go ahead and stop this video and complete your practice.